lost at sea with Mikey and JJ. So we must build a secure boat house before this army of hungry sharks attack. Oh my gosh, Louie, we're stranded. When that sun goes down, the sharks are going to attack. I know, Pip, this is really bad. If we cannot protect Mikey and JJ, then we'll lose two of our best friends. Maybe I love playing Minecraft with Mikey. I don't want him to die. Neither do I, Pip. I don't want JJ to die either. He's so much of a pro. He's just like me. Louis, what are we supposed to do? I know, Pip. How about we build some secure boat houses to protect them both? That sounds like a great idea, Louie. Let's get started. All right, just come over here into the ocean. We can get started right here. How about we build this boat house out of green and red blocks? Yeah, Louie, let me start. All right, Pip, wait. What are you doing? Oh, you said make it out of dirt blocks, didn't you? No, I said red and green blocks, like JJ and Mikey. Why are you placing dirt? I mean, can't we just use dirt instead, Louie? It's way better. Pip, dirt is the worst block in Minecraft. And in real life, when you put dirt next to water, it gets all soggy. Isn't that right, guys? Comment down below if Pip's idea is terrible. Oh, come on, Louie. This is Minecraft. We can do it. I guess we can, but how about this, Pip? Let's get building with some lime concrete and some red concrete. These are just really secure blocks. And the best part is concrete in real life is extremely strong. Oh, fine, Louie. We'll try your idea. But if our ship fails, it's all your fault. But don't you worry, Pip. Our ship will not sink because I will be the one explaining how to build it. But first of all, Pip, I think we are going to need something to build a little bit faster. And what better to use than this wand of symmetry? Wait, Wand of Venomin? What is this supposed to do? What, Pip? I did not say Wand of Cinnamon, but in case you want to know, look at this. Whenever I place a block on this side, it also mirrors it on this side. That makes it really easy to build. We could build the entire of our boat just like this. This looks like a good weapon. Maybe I should use it to fight off the sharks. Um, what would you do? Like, make them symmetrical? Would you just no. make a two-sided shark? Like, two tails or two mouths? I'll just whack them. Wait, Louie, a two-mouthed shark sounds really scary. Yeah, to be fair with you, Pip, I kind of agree as well. I would not want to see a shark with two mouths in real life. That would be terrifying. But take a look at this, Pip. I just finished on what is called the bow of our ship. As you can see, that is the front where everything will happen. Oh, this is the bow of our ship. Is this going to be used to shoot the shark? No, it's not the bow. It's called the bow. That just means the front in very fancy English. English. Oh, you're so fancy, Louie. Yeah, I am a bit of a fancy schmancy boy. But that's just because I build a lot in Minecraft. I know how to build everything. Can you build me a sweater for Christmas? Pip, why are you asking me to build you a sweater? Isn't there anything else you would want for Christmas? I mean, it gets really cold in Christmas, so I could really use a hoodie. Oh, a hoodie? You know what? I guess that could be arranged, Pip, but not right now. We need to protect JJ and Mikey. Oh, whatever, Louie. You just keep building this water ship. But guys, if you could build anything in Minecraft and then get it for Christmas, what would you build? Oh, Pip, stop asking the viewers what they would build. You know what? I am actually interested, though. What would you guys build? I'd probably build a dirt mansion so I can get it in Minecraft and in real life. Pip, that is like the worst thing you could possibly wish for. You know what I would build? I would build a million dollars. Well, that sounds horrible, Louie, but I bet you're just jealous that I actually get presents for Christmas. Oh, yeah, that is a good point. I mean, I bought you an entire farm for Christmas, and you got me some seeds. That's terrible. What do you mean, Louie? You should have eaten the seeds, but you didn't want to for some reason. Because I'm a human, Pip. Humans do not eat seeds. How are you a human? Just be a dog, Louie. It's not that hard. 
no, -uh, I don't want to be a dog. But anyways, Pip, can you see what we've done here? We have built the bottom of our ship, the part that goes on top of the water. And we have made it red and green, just like Mikey and JJ. All right, Lily, but what are we supposed to do next? This ship won't survive against all the hungry sharks. Hmm, I have to admit, you are kind of right. How about this, Pip? We are going to build the floor of the ship. This is where everybody can stand on. Just like this. And underneath the floor, we could put some really crazy things in the basement. Just like restaurants. Well, and maybe we could have some ducks in the basement. Um, I mean, I guess we could have some ducks if you really want. But there we go. It seems we have completed the floor of our ship. How about we get into the basement now and start working on some little rooms? Um, Louie, can't we just put the entrance to our ship, like, over here or something? What do you mean, over here? If the zombies or sharks get over here, they'll just flop their way in through the front door. We don't want that. Oh, that's why we put a doorbell. So they have to ring the doorbell to go inside. Pip, that is the worst idea I've ever heard. The sharks won't ring the doorbell. They'll just attack. Well, these sharks should be nice. They should ring the doorbell. You know what? I have a better idea. Follow me. We could put the entrance to our ship right back here, just in the middle. And we can also secure it with a trap door. And not just any regular trap door, an iron trap door. This means you cannot open it unless you have a button or pressure plate. What if the sharks have diamond pickaxes? Well, that would shock me even more, Pip. Listen, if they had diamond pickaxes, they could just mine in through the ship, but they don't. That's why we can put the entrance right here. Well, but can we still keep the doorbell? This doorbell is amazing! <sighs> I mean, I guess we can. But we have to secure this door with an iron door, okay? Well, we could just use a keypad door. Sharks aren't very good at guessing numbers. Wait, Pip, that's actually a really good idea! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you just thought of this. Yep, Louie, and I'm going to make the code 87. Six, nine, three, seven, Wait, four, Pip? six, um, That's a three. long password. Are you sure we'll remember it? Oh, I know the sharks won't remember it. That's for sure. Yeah, the sharks won't remember it, but we won't either. Make it simpler. Oh, fine, I'll just make it... One. One? Uh, you know what? I guess that'll have to do. But so that we can get down and back up, I'm going to put some ladders like that so we can climb up and down. And now it's time to add some rooms down here. What do you think a ship would need? Well, the most important room on a ship is the bathroom because we can't use the bathroom in the ocean. What? The bathroom? Pip, I'm pretty sure the most important room on a ship is the engine room. I mean, how else would it drive away? I mean, we could power the engines with the bathroom and power it with poop. Oh my gosh. You know what? Let's do your idea and let's see how this build ends up looking at the end. Guys, comment down below if you think this base will look good. I really don't think so. Alright, Louie, let's get building. So we're going to power this engine with a bunch of tech poop. Alright, well, how about this then, Pip? You place in the ducks, and I will place in a nice brick wall to keep them safe, especially from those sharks. Let's put them right here. Well, Louie, we actually want the ducks to be scared. That way, when the sharks come, the ducks poop more, which makes our ship go faster. Wait, that actually gives me an idea, Pip. I'm going to put some fences right here. And you said these ducks have to be scared, right? Of course, Louie. That's what makes the most poop. Well, Pip, how about this? What are ducks scared of? Let's go ahead and paint them right in front of these ducks so we get as much poop as possible. Well, that's a good idea, Louie. I'm going to paint you. 
Um, okay. I guess I'll paint a shark. I'll put my painting right here. And I'm going to paint a really scary shark. So first of all, I'm going to need some colors. I'm going to need some blue for the shark. Then I'm going to need some dark blue for the gills. And that should be enough. Now let's just go ahead and do a shark shape. So I'm going to do a big tail like this. I'm going to have the body go round and add a scary shark fin on the top. Then I'm going to add its mouth wide open just like that. That's really scary. And now I have this blue. I'm going to put it against a dark blue background. This will be the ocean. Let's just do that. We have to make sure these ducks are extremely scared or else we won't be able to power the engine like Pip says. Now I'm going to add a goofy little eye like this because sharks have soulless scary eyes just like that. And now let's add the gills. So I'll just add some little gill shapes like this. This looks pretty good. Good. What do you guys think? Comment down below. I don't know if this shark is a very good shark right now. You know what? I'll add some scary shark teeth just to make it look a little scarier. That should sell the illusion to the ducks. There we go. This glittery drawing needs to look amazing. Let's go ahead and start drawing Louie's neck. And his neck is very ugly, so we need to make it really ugly. Come on, just make it so bad. And now let's go ahead and make his head. We just need to draw all the way up here, come back around, and now his head is complete. Let's just fill it in like so. Now let's draw his hair. Now his hair is probably the worst hair I've ever seen in my entire life. Maybe because I don't know any other human besides Louie. But let's continue drawing. But to be fair, if I knew any other humans, they'd probably have better hair than Louie. Yep, I heard that. No, you didn't. Now let's go ahead and draw Louie's eyes. His eyes look like these. We just need to draw a really big circle to put Louie's pupils in. Let's just put black dots right there and draw a green outline since Louie had green eyes. And we can't forget about Louie's eyebrows. So let's just put the eyebrows for like so. And now we need to add his mouth. Louie has a really weird mouth. So let's just draw a big circle as his mouth. And we can't forget about his teeth. So let's just draw a bunch of teeth. And now Louie's body is complete. But let's go ahead and draw a little bit more of his hoodie so his neck isn't poking out of his hoodie. That'd be awful. Oh, I have to admit, I'm a duck myself, and I'd be super scared of this painting if I was a duck in a pen. I'd probably poop myself. All right, Pip, are you done with your drawing? Wow. My shark is looking very cool. It looks kind of like a tuna fish. Yep, Louie, come take a look at mine. Um, who is that? The bogeyman? Oh, no. That's just a drawing of you, Louie. What? What do you mean that's a drawing of me? I don't look that ugly. Wait, what did you say about my painting? Uh, uh, I said it's very, very nice. Good job, Pip. Uh-huh, Louie. But what did you draw over here? Is this the blue Among Us character? What do you mean this is the blue Among Us character? This is supposed to scare the dogs. So it's just a big drawing of a shark. This is the worst drawing of a shark I've ever seen. Why are there a bunch of sevens on his body? It'll work, I guess, Louie. All right, cool. Look, we have some ducks on both sides, just like this, Pip. But because they're scared, it's going to power the engine. And let's go ahead and add the propellers. Down here, these are what are going to drive the boat forwards. So I'll go ahead and I will build two propellers just like this. I'll do one and then I'll do another right next to it. As you can see, we have two propellers on this ship and down below, we have some ducks powering them. This means our ship can go forwards and backwards and it's just great. But I just thought of something. If we have propellers but no steering wheel, how will we turn the boat? So that's something I have to work on. I'm going to go ahead and build a room where I can control the engine from. So let's go ahead and build it up. First of all, I'm going to 
to use a mode on my Wand of Symmetry called Octagonal Mode. This basically means if I place a block right here, it will place four just like that. So this will allow me to build a nice big engine room. Let's just build that right now. I'll go ahead and place a little block like this, and then I'll have it go round in a circle shape. So now let's build up this room. I need to make sure this is where the ship can be controlled from. So let's make this room nice and big, and let's also give it a chimney. But before we do that, let's add some cool red blocks to it. I'm sure Pip will not like seeing all of this red. What do you guys think? Pip only likes yellow and lime green because Mikey is green and he is yellow. But I don't think it matters. Pip will not notice. He's not very good at noticing very obvious things. But look at this, guys. We have a big room on this boat. I'm going to go ahead and build it up a few more blocks and then I'm going to cover the roof with glass. This way, if I need to, I can look out of the top of the ship and see what time it is. But just in case it goes too dark and I cannot see, I need to make sure I have lights in this room so that I can see exactly what is going on at all times. So let's do a few rows of glowstone like this. This way, the captain's room will always be bright and I'll be able to see everything around this ship. But now I'm going to add a big window on the front of this thing so I can see the ocean ahead. I'm going to use some gray stained glass windows. And the reason for this is because if the sun shines through the front, I need to be able to see. So this gray tinted glass kind of works like sunglasses. Perfect. This is a very good captain's room. So let's go ahead and build the steering wheel. I know exactly how I'm going to build this. I'll get two fences like this that go up just in front of the captain. And then I will go into the create mod and I will pick up this item called a large cogwheel. And look at this, guys. It looks just like a pirate steering wheel. This will definitely be able to steer the ship and we will be able to get out of harm's way. Oh, Pip! I see you're here to take a look. Oh, this wheel looks so cool. Can I drive it? I mean, if you don't turn it into a wall and crash it. Well, of course I won't, Louie. What walls do you see on the ocean anyways? Oh, there might not be any walls, but there might be icebergs, Pip. And we do not want to end up like the Titanic. If you guys know what happened to the Titanic, comment down below. What's wrong with an iceberg, Louie? I love iceberg lettuce. Iceberg lettuce is pretty good, but a real-life iceberg is trouble for these ships. Wait, Pip, that gives me an idea. If we have any icebergs that get in the way, or, uh... Let's say sharks. We could add a flamethrower to the ship. Oh, a flamethrower would be so cool. We can use that to kill all of the sharks. All right, Pip, come here. We are going to build a flamethrower on this thing. Let's add it right here. I think this would be a good enough spot. But wait, how are we supposed to build a flamethrower on a ship in the middle of the ocean? Well, let me show you, Pip. If I go ahead and grab something called one-way glass, we should be able to use it to see through blocks like this. Do you see? Look, I can see into the boat, but we want it to be the other way, like this. So you can't see anything in through the front of the boat, but you're able to see what's inside just like this. But Louie, we're supposed to make a flamethrower, not one-way glass. Well, that's a good point, Pip. But the thing is, with this one-way glass, we can see if there are any sharks that we can use the flamethrower on. We just have to build it. So let me get started. Could you place some dispensers facing outwards? Well, of course I can, Louie. Let me just go outside real quick and place these dispensers. All right. No, Pip, place them one block in front. There we go. And I'll do it on the other side, too. Wait, Pip, because you placed them with the Wand of Symmetry, it also did it on the other side. Wow. This Wand of Symmetry is so useful. Yeah, it's called the Wand of Symmetry, Pip, but it's fine. Don't worry. Look, now all we have to do is get a control panel that'll make it work. Look, if we go ahead and add a lever to the top of this block, we can power both sides at once. 
Bluey, you said it's supposed to be a flamethrower. Why isn't it doing anything? Uh... Well, Pip, that's because we didn't put anything inside the dispensers. Look, if I go into my creative menu and grab some fire charges, we can place them inside just like that. Let's just do it for all of these dispensers. Just like this. Well, Louie, is this flamethrower going to work now? Yep. How about this, Pip? You do the honors of pressing the button and see what happens. All right. I'm going to pretend I'm killing a shark. Die, shark, die! Whoa! Look outside! A ton of fire just shot out of the ship. It looks like I shot Mikey and JJ's ship. Uh-oh. Uh, be careful. I think we have to put that out. We cannot be having a bunch of fire next to Mikey and JJ. All right, Louie, but I really think we need to add more things to make our ship look like a real ship. Yeah, you make a good point, Pip. Right now, looking at this thing, it doesn't look too much much like a real ship. How about this? Let's add some really cool walls to this thing to make it look like a dangerous battleship. Let's put these walls all the way around. Oh yeah, Louie. They're going to be so scared when they see our ship. Yeah, those sharks will not want to touch this ship at all. They will be extremely scared of us, Pip. Yeah, just like I was scared of you when I first saw your face. Wait, what? You said my face was cute. No, Louie. I said your face was pretty. Pretty ugly. <laughs> Oh, what? Oh, Pip! Y you know what? Uh, I can let that go. How about this? Let's start adding some more things to this boat. What do you think a boat needs? Oh, we've got flamethrowers, but is there any way we can add cannons? Well, we could add some cannons if you want. Look at this, Pip. I can grab these things that are called Schematic Cannons. And it lets me put some scary cannons at the front of our ship. We could shoot those sharks with some scary cannonballs. And just to make them work, I will connect them both up like this with a lever like this. Which means those cannons will activate when we press them. I really think we should add another trap, too. I think we should add a TNT trap to instantly blow up the sharks if they get near our ship. Wait, that is a very good idea. But I think we should go ahead and build it up here. We want to make sure the sharks don't expect a big TNT blast coming. So I'll go ahead and build some blocks like this. How about you put some TNT inside of these dispensers, Pip? We are going to make it rain on those sharks. All right, Louie, let me just grab this TNT and place it in these dispensers. And I will not forget to add some stairs as well, because we want to be able to walk up and see the sharks die. The more TNT, the better. Oh, yeah, Pip, you are very right. All right, I think we have all the TNT we need. How about we give this thing a test drive? All right, Louie, can I do the honors of pressing the button? Yep, you can do the honors, Pip, right after I place down some safety precautions so our TNT doesn't sink to the bottom of the ocean. All right, you can go ahead and press it now. All right, Louie, I'm putting the lever down, and I really hope this TNT doesn't malfunction and blow up our ship. Just watch, Pip. It won't. It'll be just fine. Press the button. Whoa, wait. Don't press it that much. Oh, no, this is bad. Whoa! Oh, that was a lot of TNT, Louie. That will definitely kill those evil sharks. Yep, you're right, Pip. But how about this? Let's do the same thing on the other side, too. So those sharks do not see what's coming. They'll be swimming around in the ocean, see our dispenser trap, and get really scared, and probably swim to the other side, where we will rain more TNT on their heads. Yeah, Louie. And the only chances that the sharks have of surviving Surviving this are if they have blast proof armor. Don't be silly, Pip. Those sharks don't have blast proof armor. They'll never get inside of our boat, and they will never be able to survive a TNT blast like this one. Don't be so sure of yourself, Louie. One time, I watched this movie called Sharknado, and it taught me that sharks can fly in tornadoes. 
Wait, what? Sharks can fly in tornadoes? Uh, you never told me that. Oh, it was just a movie that I watched with my other best friend. What? But we always watch movies together. Guys, this is terrible. Pip doesn't even want to watch movies with me. Yeah, Louie, I don't really like watching movies with you. Guys, if you watched any movies about sharks, go ahead and like the video. Yep, and if you think sharks are as scary as us, then make sure to subscribe. We are trying to hit 1,000 subscribers! Wait, Louie, our goal is 1,000? Scratch that. My goal is 1 million! What? Oh, oh my gosh, I guess this is your channel, Pip. You know what, Louie? Since this is my channel, I get to tell you what to do! <gasps> Fine, Pip. What do you want me to do? Well, Louie... We really need bedrooms for Mikey and JJ, so get building, you good-for-nothing kid! <sighs> Fine, Pip. Whatever you say, but one day, I will commit mutiny, and I will throw you off this ship. Off the plank! Oh, wait, we don't have one. Uh, that's I, I, Captain, to you! Um, you know what? Look, Pip, I have a plank now that I can make you walk. Go ahead. <laughs> wait, why won't you move? Why aren't you moving? <laughs> That explains why you're so heavy. Oh, Louie, you'll never push me off this plank, but go ahead and start scrubbing the floor, or I'll kick you off my channel. All right, fine. Let's go down below. Oh, what do we build down here next? Well, luckily, Louie, I have the best ideas ever. We need to build those bedrooms for Mikey and JJ staff so they All can right. sleep the night away. Well, I guess we could build them here if you want. Want. How about this? I will add some red glass on this side. This is where JJ's room will be. And then I will add some green glass on this side. That is where Mikey will sleep. And we can split this room into two. And this way, we can build some nice big rooms for JJ and Mikey. Wow! I mean, why can't the whole room just be Mikey's bedroom and... JJ can sleep outside. Wait, what? No! We can't have JJ sleeping in the ocean, or else, um, pretty soon he'll be sleeping with the fishes, too. Oh, fine, Louie. I'll spare JJ's life just this once. Whoa, 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 Pip. Replace that TNT with glass. We cannot be having this ship exploding, okay? Fine, Louie. Let's just get working on these rooms. I'm going to build a way better room than you, Louie. Oh, no, you won't. And you know what? If I build a better room than you, then all the people watching this video have to subscribe. Oh, yeah, Louie. But if I build a better room, everyone in the comments has to say that you're stinky. Oh, you know what? I accept. I don't mind being called stinky because I don't shower anyways. Yo, Louie, that was weird, but... I already knew that. Um, wait, how? You know what? Let's not get off track. Let's build Mikey and JJ's rooms. All right, but Mikey's bedroom needs to be amazing and have plenty of space. So I think I'm going to make Mikey's bed huge. And it's going to be on the ceiling. Let me just cover the ceiling in beds to make one massive bed. Oh, it's going to take forever for Louie to find where Mikey's bed is because it's the entire ceiling. All right, guys. What I'm going to do first is add a little room at the back. This is going to be the bathroom. And the reason I'm building the bathroom first is because every time I go on a ship, there's never a good bathroom. So I'm going to build a good one right here. I'm going to put a table and I'm going to have a nice big mirror so that I can look at my beautiful reflection. Then I'm going to add a nice toilet right here so I can sit and take poop. Whatever I want, you know. Now I'm going to make a hole in the ground, put a metal grate down. This basically just means that I'll be able to make a shower in here. Let's actually go ahead and add one. I'll add this nice modern shower head like this. Uh, so JJ can take all the showers he needs and all of the water is recycled back into the ocean. As you guys know, you should always recycle. It's good for the planet Earth. Uh, this is how Mikey's bedroom is looking. I put down his PC setup, but wait a second. Where is Mikey supposed to go pee pee and poo poo? Oh, we need to put toilets all around the room. And you know what? Why don't I just put a toilet in 
front of the TV. Oh. Little Mikey can watch TV while pooping. <laughs> Maybe he wants to invite friends over, so we should put some more toilets. All right, but now I'm done with this bathroom, I need the entertainment section of my room. Um, don't mind me, Pip. I'm just going to steal your TV. And I'll put it right here. This is where JJ will watch his favorite TV shows. But unlike you and your disgusting toilets, I am going to put a very cool red sofa that JJ can sit on and watch all his favorite TV programs. Wow. This room is disgusting. Where are you? Uh, right how did here. you get in there? Uh, don't worry. Just don't check the toilet. Uh, don't check the toilet? Uh oh. Okay, I guess I won't. But, Pip, have you seen my triple bunk bed? Do you like it? Uh, this is a kind of cool bunk bed, but look at my bunk bed, Louie. I have a flat bunk bed. Wait a second, Pip. How is Mikey going to sleep up there? He'll be flattened by the roof. Well, Louie, I couldn't just put one bed. Since the ship goes back and forth and pushing because of the water's waves, I need to put a whole bunch of beds so he can't fall off. I guess it makes sense. I can't argue with that logic. If the ship twists and turns all over the place, he won't be able to slide out through the walls. You know what? Frankly, I don't think he'll be able to slide much at all. He's going to be very cramped. Yeah, Louie, I should even add a seatbelt up here. Um, I mean, I guess you could, but Pip, we have more pressing matters to worry about. What if Mikey and JJ get hungry? That's why I put a furnace over here, Louie, right next to the toilet. You ever what? heard the saying, reuse and recycle? Pip, please don't tell me. You are going to make them cook their own poop and eat it. That's exactly what I was thinking, Louie. You're so good at this. Pip, look at me really quickly. This is what I think of your idea. Oh, where are you going, Louie? I think you meant to show me something. No, I'm going far, far away. I never want to hear your ideas ever again. I mean, the more poop for me. Wait, ew! All right, guys. Well, now I'm back up on the surface and Pip is still down there. I guess it's time for me to build a restaurant because Mikey and JJ are really going to want to eat. So let me get some yellow concrete and some red concrete. And let's see if you guys can guess what I'm building. Just comment down below if you have any idea what this is. I'm going to add some yellow blocks going up like this. And these are going to be equally spaced apart. Just like that. Then all I have to do is build up some red walls. Just like this. This will keep any wind and rain out of the restaurant. Which means nobody is going to get very cold. Especially whoever works inside of the restaurant. There we go. This looks very good. But boom. We have all of the walls completed. But now it's time for me to add something else inside of here. And this will be very obvious to what the restaurant is now, guys. So if you can't guess this, I don't know what else will help. Look, I'm going to add some yellow across like this. And I'll be breaking some holes just like that. But now, let's see if you guys know what this is. And if you didn't guess it yet, it's a McDonald's. Which means we are going to have some of that finest, finest food. Basically, I'm going to get as many free Big Macs as I want because I own this place. There we go. Now I can make this McDonald's look really cool. I am going to get some of these gray stained glass and I'm going to put it right here. This will act as a window that customers can eat at. And to do that, I'm going to get some tables just like this oak one right here. And I'm going to get some seats. And this basically means Mikey, JJ, and Pip, and also me, can eat a bunch of McDonald's. I'll put a ton of seats down just like that. And now all I have to do is just make a a little kitchen in the back. So I'll do that right over here. This shouldn't be too hard. I'll just make something like this with a fence gate in front so I can get in and out. Now I'll just get a furnace and boom, boom, boom. They can cook as many Big Macs as they want. And just so that people know this is a McDonald's, I need to go ahead and add the burgers in. So I'm going to put down some item frames and this is going to be like the menu. So I'll have some cheeseburgers and a big 
Mac. Boom, boom, boom. And then I'll put this gold nugget. It kind of looks like a chicken nugget. So this is the coolest McDonald's I've ever seen. And the best part is it's on the back of my boat. Whoa! This thing is looking awesome so far. I'm so proud of it. But Pip has been down there for a while. Maybe I should go check on him to make sure he's not dead. All right, here I come. And uh, Pip, are you down here? Yeah, I'm right in the kitchen, Louie. What do you mean, the kitchen? Pip, what is this? Oh, welcome, Louie, to JG's Pizza. JJ's Pizza what now? Uh, Pip, this was a bedroom before. Why is it a pizza place now? Oh, I didn't think JJ was going to use it as a bedroom, so I made it into his own pizzeria. Oh my gosh, Pip, you are going to be very embarrassed when you see this. Follow me. Oh, oh, Louis, don't you want to try some of JJ's pizza? No, I don't want to try any. You have to come up here and see why you shouldn't have built the pizza place. I mean, what's wrong with a pizza place? <gasps> yeah, welcome to McDonald's. Welcome to McDonald's. Oh, I mean, this looks really good, Louie, but JJ's pizza is way better. Yeah, but the thing is, Pip, if any customers want to get there, they'll have to go through the McDonald's. Wait, you're stealing all of my customers, Louie? Yeah, sorry about that, Pip. I didn't mean to. Oh, oh, wait, I did. Oh, it doesn't matter, Louie. At the end of the day, we just have to keep JJ and Mikey safe. So how about we build an armory now? All right, how about we build it? Hmm, where could we build an armory? We've used a lot of space on this boat. Yeah, Louie, maybe we can put the armory in JJ's pizza. What? That would be a ridiculous idea. But that's why I love you, Pip. Let's go build an armory. Right, Louie, but since I built JJ's pizzeria, I get to decide what armor we have in the kitchen. Oh, wait a second. This was a bathroom before. Why is it a kitchen? I mean, you can use the bathroom in the sink if you really want to. <sighs> you know what? I don't think it matters. Let's just go ahead and put some armor right here. This seems like a good enough spot. All right. Um, let's see what armor I can use. Oh, there's a lot of cool armor to pick from. There's Power Rangers. There's superheroes. Oh, Louis, why don't we just use Superman armor? Wait, what? Superman armor? What are we doing? Cosplaying as Superman? Uh, yeah, Louis. Let me just show you. I'll use one pair of Superman armor and you'll use the other. Oh, wait, why only one? Oh, trust me, Louie. So this right here is my armor. Okay. And this over here is your armor. Wait a second. Pip, that is Superman armor. And that is Supergirl. I mean, you are a girl, right? Um, no, Pip. Do I look like a girl? I mean, sometimes. Wait, I got a good idea, Pip. Look, do I look like a girl now? Now you just look like Ronald McDonald, Louie. No, I'm putting the hair back, and I'm going bald. Oh, well, it doesn't matter, Louie. You can choose the weapons if you want. Oh, you have done a great service letting me choose the weapons. Look at this, Pip. We can use some of these dragon bone bows that can kill the zombies in a single shot. We just need some bone arrows, too, which I will get from my creative menu. Boom! Oh, dragon bone bows are so OP! Mm-hmm. I can't believe you don't use them more than I do. Uh, they are your bows, not mine. Yeah, but guess what I'm going to do next, Pip? What are you going to do, Louie? I am going to get the most OP sword in Minecraft, the Infinity Sword. Whoa, Louie, that's a huge sword. What is that supposed to do? Well, Pip, how about you put down uh, one of your strongest mobs? Uh, let's put it outside so I can show you. All right, Louie, but there's no way you can kill this frost mob in a single shot. Whoa, that frost mob looks deadly. But watch this, Pip. Bada bing, bada boop, bada. <laughs> it's dead. How did you do that, Louie? Teach me your way. Oh, Pip, it's not me. It's the Infinity Sword. It can kill anything in one hit. You're in creative mode, right? Yeah, Louie. 
Should I be in survival mode? No, you stay in creative mode really fast. I'm gonna try something. Alright, well, Louis, what are you going to do? I'm in creative mode. Alright, well, this sword is so strong that, um, watch this, Pip. You're in creative mode, and, uh, oh. I just killed you while you're in creative mode. What, Louis? How did you do that? That's impossible! Nothing is impossible with the Infinity Sword. It has infinite potential. Oh my gosh, and it does infinite damage. Yep. Now follow me, Pip. I'm going to put that sword in our armory room. And um, by our armory room, I just mean the fridge. And also at the same time, let's go ahead and get some enchanted golden apples. <coughs> this way, we won't die if the sharks bite us in the booty. Can we eat enchanted golden JJ pizzas? Um, I don't think we can enchant them, but that would be cool, right? But anyways, Pip, we've spent a while inside of here and... Oh, no. Um, Pip, I think we have a problem. Oh, no, Louie, those sharks are going to be here any minute now. We need to get Mikey and JJ inside of the ship now. Yeah, you're right. Come on, JJ. We gotta go. Oh, my gosh, Pip. Look at this. Mikey's in his room, and JJ is the now proud owner of JJ's Pizzeria. He's even got the outfit on. Oh, yeah, Louis. His name is on the sign. Of course, he's going to be wearing a chef outfit. Uh, that's a good point, Pip. But we don't have time to spare. Let's get some weapons and armor from this room. I'm going to get an infinity sword, a bow and arrow, and a golden apple to keep myself alive. I'll do the same thing, Louie. I need to make sure I have one of these infinity swords. They're so OP! Oh, yes, they are, Pip. But wait, which armor are we going to wear? Which one am I going to put on? Uh, you get Supergirl. <gasps> okay, fine. I put on my Supergirl armor. What do I look like? You look beautiful, Louie. Um, I probably don't. Ew! The Pip, I look ugly! Oh, well, yeah, the hair doesn't really match you very well. And, uh, I have to admit, though, that Superman costume really looks good on you. Thanks, Louie. Yeah, all the girls at school call me Superman because I'm just so super. Wait a second, Pip? Um, I just got put in survival mode. Uh, this is not good! Oh, no, Louie. Does that mean what I think it means? Oh, yes, it does, Pip. Look in the water around us. We are in shark-infested waters now. It's like Sharknado all over again. Yeah, Pip. Come on. Let's get out there and see how many there are. Oh, please don't be too many. And oh, no. There's so many sharks. What are we going to do? How is there this many sharks? I don't know, Pip, but... All I know is we have to start shooting! Attack! Oh, this bow is doing so much damage, Louis. These sharks are dying instantly. Yeah, look! As soon as the arrow hits those sharks, they die! This is a very strong bow and arrow. Did you know this bow and arrow is meant to just be killing dragons? Wait, is that why it's called a dragon bone bow? Yep, it's made with the bones of dragons, which means makes it very effective at slaying things. Oh, Louie, this bow is pretty good, but I know something way better. Oh, yeah? What do you think is way better, Pip? Remember when we made those flamethrowers earlier? Wait, good idea. Those flamethrowers could be really effective against those sharks. Let's go down our ladders and take a look out at the ocean. Whoa, wait, did I just get bit through the boat? Pip, I think we have to be careful. Those sharks can bite through concrete. It's very dangerous. Oh, these must be those super sharks I have saw on TV. No, there's no such thing, Pip. I've never seen a super shark before. Look, go ahead. Press that flamethrower. I want to see if it works. Die, sharks, die! Whoa! Um, Pip, I don't know about you, but it does not seem like the flamethrower is working. We should have put the flamethrower more in the water. That's a good point. Maybe we built this thing wrong. Oh, but don't we still have the TNT launchers? Wait. Good idea! Come on, let's go use those! Hopefully they work just as well. Oh, wait, Pip. 
I just thought of something. If we are in Superman armor, doesn't that mean we can... Oh, wait, <gasps> Pip, Pip, I'm Superwoman! Wait, how are you doing that, Louie? Um, because I'm Superman. I mean, Superwoman. Oh, come on, Super Pip, up, up, and away! Um, <laughs> Pip, I don't think it's working. Your armor is useless! Come on, I just have to think really hard. Come on, Pip, use the power of your brain! Oh, wait, you don't have one. Come on, I just gotta fart really loud. Wait, what? <gasps> I did it! What? Ew, you just farted to get into the sky! Well, yeah, Wolverine, that's the power of farting, isn't it? Ew, you know what? It doesn't matter. Look, let's land over here, right next to our TNT! And let's get these sharks just over here. Look, I'm going to fly into the air really quickly like this. And I'm going to lure all of the sharks over here. And then you can take them out with a TNT. All right, Olivia, I can't wait to kill all those sharks beneath you. All right, come on, sharky walkies. Get over here and hip, press the lever. Fire away. Here comes the TNT. Three, two, one, boom! Wait, Pip, a boat! Wait, what about our boat, Louie? It just blew up! Stop! Oh, no! Oh! Louie, what did you do to the ship? What? That wasn't me! That was you! Oh, Pip, we have to get rid of all these sharks before they eat JJ! Look at his poor little face! Oh, it's not my fault, Louie. I told you we should have built the ship out of dirt. Oh, well, dirt would have been worse. You know what? Let's take out some of the sharks on this side. And this time, Pip, please don't spam that button. You might just blow up the rest of the ship. Oh, it'll be fine, Louie. Look, just watch. TNT All right, Pip, stop, like stop, that. stop, stop. Whoa! Pip, our boat almost blew up a million shark tooths in my inventory. That just proves we've killed a ton of them. Come on, Louie, go under the TNT. Dropper. I'll explode all the sharks. All right, Pip, go to the other side. I'm going to bring them all over here. Come on, sharky walkies. Whoa, they look so scary. Wait. All right, Pip, they're all set up and ready to die. Attack! Die, sharky Boom! Perfect! Look how many of them just died. A bunch of sharks just flew out of the ocean. This is actually kind of like how they make shark fin soup, Pip. Did you know that? Yeah, Louie. We're basically making Sharknado 2. Um, Pip, I don't know about Sharknado 2. There's like five of those movies. I'm bringing one last wave of sharks to die. Oh, oh Pip. TNT! TNT! Whoa! Uh-oh, Louie. There's a massive hole in the side of our bay. I know. Oh, hopefully it turns day soon. Mikey cannot stand any longer in there. Come on, Louie. I just need to keep dropping TNT. Should be fine. Wait a second, Pip! It just turned daytime. Come on, let's finish the rest of these sharks off, and then hopefully we survive. Come on, I need to attack. Just a few more. All right, Pip. We only have these two sharks left. You kill one of them, and I'll kill one of them. Boom! Wait, I think we survived. We did it, Louie. But if we survive, did Mikey and JJ survive? Wait, I don't know, Pip. Let's go check. Here we are, and... Wait, Pip, they survived! Uh, looks like Mikey barely survived. Look at this massive hole. Yeah, that's your fault for spamming the TNT droppers. If you didn't do that, Mikey would have probably not been blasted. Well, if we just made the walls out of dirt like I said to Louie, he would have been fine. Oh, I don't think so, Pip, but... Whatever! We survived, so it doesn't matter. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe,